Okay, so now that we've successfully logged in via our PHP BB registered user uh, inside the database, what we're going to do now is just clear up this code um, and make it more into a um, actual login, actual login uh, process. So um, everything here is working. The only thing we need to do now is first of all the main.php page. At the moment, we're just writing success as you can see in the browser, um, but we do know that the login has worked. Uh, now what we need to do um, is first of all we need to do this uh, securely uh, that's an important note to, to go by um, and we also need to link to a logout uh, script um, obviously um, we need to let the user log out so the first thing we're going to do is use ob uh, to say ob start what we're going to do is we're going to be using header data um, if the user isn't logged in and oh, we're going to be using uh, sessions as well so we'll say session start uh, since we are dealing with uh, session data okay so what the first thing we're going to do is an if statement we're going to say if not set so if it if not is set so that's basically saying if uh, not set um, the session that we've used is session username then um, we're gonna open this and we're gonna say header location login.php so essentially what we're doing is we're checking this first and we're saying um, is this um, is this um, session set has it been set and then here with the exclamation mark we're saying um, has it not been set um, if it hasn't been set we're gonna uh, header over to uh, login.php using our header script that's why we're using this ob start here it's not necessary as we don't have any output above here but with your website you may do um, now we also need to use exit um, in case we have any modified browsers uh, that don't um, accept this header um, header function uh, and the content inside it we're going to exit anyway just to be secure otherwise the user will be able to continue with the script okay so otherwise um, all we need to do now is this is pretty simple just say like hello um, and we can append onto this session username and append onto that um, a full stop and a link with log out and we'll link this to logout.php um, now it would probably be a good idea to come here and just say uh, username session equals session username actually what we'll do is we'll make this a bit more logical and say session username uh, and then what we can do is we can paste that into there and then paste that into there what you could even do is then remove these appending full stops um, and put that inside but I'm just going to use this now um, just for the sake of uh, complex um, ways to do things just so you can learn okay so um, that's basically um, what we've got uh, now what I'm going to do is just show you uh, what's going to happen if we go on to here hello Alex now presumably we are actually logged in um, so you know everything seems to be working if we go into our login.php page, let's go into that. Um, we can still log in, so this makes me think I might come up here and just say if um, is set dollar underscore session username, then we're going to header location main.php. And we're going to exit now basically what this is going to do is check if it's set and we're going to head over to the main.php page and then exit uh, just in case this uh, isn't successful so basically what we're doing is we're not letting the user log in twice so there you go um, no matter how many times you can see we're back at the login uh, the main page you can see no matter how many times we try and access the login page it's always going to switch back to the main so that's just a bit of useful uh, useful code you can take into account. The only thing we've got to do now is the uh, logout page. So this is basically uh, session start. We're starting the session before we destroy a session. And we're going to use the session destroy command uh, or function rather just to do this. And then what we're going to do is header over to the login page. Because as they have logged out, 
we're going to forward them back to the login page. So you can see here, if I press log out, we're back to this page. Um, and then if we were to come onto the uh, main page, I haven't demonstrated this yet, then we're redirected straight back to the login page. So this really is quite um, fun well, it's functioning quite well. Um, we've done the main job. We did that in the first part of the tutorial. Um, but hopefully this has helped you sort of adapt this and integrate it all into it. So um, that's basically this tutorial over with. If you haven't subscribed already, please press the yellow subscribe button at the top of my channel or on the side of this video. Um, and um, if you're looking for any help, I have a help forum. It's phpacademy.info forward slash forum. Um, I, you can also add me on Twitter. That's a really good way to get updates for new videos. It's twitter.com forward slash phpacademy. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you around. Bye.